Delacroix was full of contradictions. Born into a wealthy family in 1798, he was a child of the French Revolution. Yet he was politically conservative, and we know from his diaries, he wouldn't have enjoyed being typecast as a louche bohemian. But he had dangerously radical ideas about painting. He thought it should be about passion, action, and vitality. Here he is, Eugène Delacroix, born 1798, died 1863, so long before what we know as modern art. The claim of this exhibition at the National Gallery is that despite that huge gap in time, this rather austere, haughty looking young man is actually the inspiration for much that we see and have come to love in modern art. We're trying to prove that Delacroix was a very great painter whose influence lasted long beyond his life, well into the 20th century. It's something we've forgotten. What was the influence in your view? Uh, in my view, it was threefold. It was his big personality as an artist. It was his invention of a new way of using color. And it was his ability to, to paint with a kind of gusto that hadn't been seen before. For Delacroix, painting wasn't an exercise in careful virtuosity, but an expression of passion. Delacroix was transfixed by the Orient. To him, the exotic East was far more exciting than antiquity. He could go see it in real life. In 1832, Delacroix made a trip to Morocco, Algeria and Spain, drawn by the glowing colors and romantic notions of mysterious Arabia. Now this one is called The Convulsionists of Tangier, painted in 1838. The obvious attraction is its exoticism. The thing has amazing energy, but it is in many ways incomplete, it seems to me. None of these figures in the background has, for example, got a face. He was terribly concerned not to overfinish pictures. Yeah. He thought if you overfinish them, you killed them. That's why they retain their energy, is it? I think in an unfinished picture, yeah. We participate, we start to, to fill in the gaps and so get involved in a way that a finished picture does not ask us to do. There are more than 60 works on show in this exhibition. It gathers together some of the most celebrated paintings from all over the world, from still lifes and landscapes to portraits and biblical scenes. But this exhibition is only partly about Delacroix the man. The other half is about Delacroix the legacy. It aims to show a direct line of influence through the next generations of French artists. This painting of the crucifixion really crackles with energy. Look at the clouds, look at the way the wind has caught Christ's loincloth. Look at the way the figures lean back, gasping at the spectacle. It's said to have been painted in a single night, and it is certainly cited by Van Gogh as one of the things that influenced him when he came to depict a similar scene of the death of Christ. Delacroix's bloody-minded self-belief was that in painting, color and movement trumped draftsmanship and passion, virtuosic skill. He inspired an entire generation of painters like Renoir, Gauguin, Van Gogh and Cezanne, all of whom are on show here. In many ways, this exhibition is something of an echo chamber. It takes original works by Delacroix and it sees echoes of them in some works by some of the very greatest modern artists. The question is, was Delacroix the inspiration? Was he, in a sense, the first of the very modern artists, or are we straining the connection too far? Well, the only way to find out is to have a look at the exhibition.